Okay, it's not done yet. And I've been working on this since February. February. Okay, so other people that have a commission, let's say for a custom pistol based off a of splat, for example, do put in mind this custom work takes a long time, including my own work. Okay, it's just that you have to think out all these details before executing them and getting it right so you're not rushing it out and it's bullshit. Okay, um, I understand. Okay, I understand, but this is custom work. Okay, so in anywho, this is, I've been working on this February, I've been keeping it hush, I know, but uh, this is an ultra match clip fed sharp fire. And I wanted to prove the concept could be done before Singapore. And I finally did the, uh, the bolt pusher t tonight. I'm working on cutting out 250 darts and sending a package to Australia uh, to, um, and continuing work with my Merlin stuff. Very hectic, very hectic. But at any who, uh, there it is. It's going to have a uh, plate right here, a magazine detacher right here. Um, this is going to be steel, uh, number 10 screw, number 10 screw all the way across here, and with uh, lined up with washers so that this stays in place. No, it's not going to be for sale, uh, but it can be done, as you see. Um, so I put this together for demonstration purposes, just to show that it can be done. Here we go. Yep. See? It can feed. It doesn't have a pusher in it. It doesn't have a barrel in it. But you get the concept. The spacing can be done. It's very tight. It is extremely tight, as a matter of fact. Um, you have to, it, it, There's a lot of work that has to be done with this in order to pull it off. And I'm going to need to do this whole thing. I may... Assign somebody to do a 3D, um, a 3D printed uh, catch system there, but I'm not really good with SPL files. I'm good with just, you know, trial and error work. Here's the magazine right here. A lot of work had to be done to trim it, and there it is. But one could conceivably make 3D printed mags that are like this, or Explorer can make mags like this. I did show a hang this today. I said, here it is. Take a look. Um, I hope he considers this for a mod. And considers this possibly because my ultra matches are extremely accurate, and not only that, but this thing can pull some pretty outrageous velocity for its size. It's it's a great concept. I'm gonna have to finish this when I get back from Singapore, along with many other commissions and things that I have now. Put in mind, I'm having to put the mag in position there because it is um, it doesn't have a lockup yet. But I will tell you right now that the lockup is gonna have to be extremely tight tolerances. Um, very, very tight. So much to the point that I actually put uh, fiber tape as spacers on each side of this. And um, it, it, the tolerances inside this blaster are so tight, you can literally stick a piece of coal in here. In a thousand years, if you were to bury it, you'd find a diamond. It's that tight. But it can be done. It can be done. And I think this would be a wicked fucking pistol. 12 round. Stefan shooter that can shoot between 140 and I would say 185 feet per second. I mean, if you had this on a holster, for example, I mean, what a great sidearm. The only problem is, is of course, the prime is really high because it's anywhere from 14 to 21 kilograms. Um, but for people like me, that's not an issue. So you can almost just like uh, make an aftermarket slide here and ch -ch -ch like that, you know, you could, you could do that. Um, I think there's a lot of potential for the sharp fire, but even more so than the sharp fire is the new to come falcon fire. If I can do this with a sharp fire and it doesn't have a mag well here, oh my god, with a falcon fire that could be so freaking easy. And if you were to take all this empty space and put a brass barrel with spacers in here, that when you put the falcon fire back together it just all lines up, oh god damn. This is why I think um, Explorer should really do this blaster. In a Falcon Fire, I think we can fit one of one of, uh, one of Hank's push-up breaches in there. And if we did, we would have just a phenomenal pistol. I mean, maybe not, no, no, no speed breaker, uh, no speed record breaker like the Sharp Fire. Sharp Fire is not a record breaker, but go back and look at my videos like when I target practice. Okay, I did that in one take. I did not do 10 takes or 12 takes. That's not trick photography. 
I knock Stefan Lengthard from 10 feet away with the ceiling fan going, which I do to simulate more real world conditions, and I nail it. Okay? That was one take. I nailed it four shots, one take. In the test videos where I had it brought down to 14 kilograms because a, a user asked me to bring it down to 150 feet per second rather than 170 where it usually is, I was able to do so in, uh, I think, five. Was it five? Yeah, five, five shots with version one X starts. Another thing I want to do before I go to Singapore is express that I really want these starts back. Version two X starts. If they make different types of bullets, and they, they can make different types of darts, it's not a big deal. And there, and people are running into the problem, like I said in previous videos, of a darts that are too soft and wiggly, like the artifact and the ACC darts, and too hard, like the FNJs. There needs to be an in-between alternative. People are still gluing these, and I really think they should be in manufacture. So, anywho, that's my update for right now. Take care. Peace out. Oh, and I did this first. Peace out.